Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And to those of you that are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'd love to share my fashion favorites, sales. Right now I'm sharing a lot of maternity looks. I like to share easy recipes, basically anything to do with life as a mom, I'd like to share with you all. Today I thought it'd be fun to do a Costco haul because I see a lot of people doing them. And I think it's always fun to see what other people get. So let's jump right in. We went shopping yesterday. We have a few staples that we always get, and then I like to go and assess what we need in the house and get extra things from time to time as well. So why don't we just start from this side and move over. I almost always grab a rotisserie chicken when we go to Costco because for $5, you can't beat it. It's such an easy dinner and it's easy to have that on hand and be able to make salads with it, sandwiches, anything. So I always grab a rotisserie chicken. I this time grabbed a jalapeno artichoke dip. I love this artichoke dip. If you don't know what it looks like, I will go a little bit closer. It looks like that. It is so delicious. I like to take it and cook up a sourdough round in the oven, get that nice and hot, and then heat up the artichoke dip and put that in the center of a round sourdough bread bowl, and then serve sourdough bread on the side to dip in it and crackers. Oh my God. If you haven't tried it, you've got to try it. It is so good. Two of our go-to items are these Aussie Bites and Paleo Bars. Here's what the Paleo Bars look like. And here is what the Aussie Bites look like. Both of these are healthy, but also really tasty. They're organic, grain-free. Well, at least they're both organic. The Paleo Bars are grain-free. Um, lots of benefits, omega, um, omega threes, no trans fat, um, just a really good snack to have on hand. And my son loves the Aussie bites and I love that he likes to eat them because they have chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, like lots of nutrient dense items in there. So I love getting those. Oh, and bear with me. I seem to get really out of breath being pregnant. So if I sound winded, that's why. Another thing I love to grab are their double pack of goat cheese. It's only $7 and you literally pay seven to $10 for one of these at the regular store. Even at Walmart, I pay six, seven bucks for just one of these tubes, maybe even eight. So to get a double pack for seven bucks is a steal. I always like to get fresh seafood when I go there. So I grabbed salmon. I love to grill up salmon on the barbecue with lemon, dill, a little butter. And then I actually make like an arugula salad and I put the goat cheese on top with olive oil and vinegar. It is so good. If you haven't tried that, try it. Maybe I'll even make that for a separate video and show you. It is such a light, tasty meal. I just, I love it. Another thing I always grab are these Adele sausages. My favorite flavor right now is the garlic gruyere or garlic, garlic gruyere. I think that's how you say the cheese. So tasty. The great thing about Costco is that not only do you save because you get three packs for, I think, normally 15 bucks, but today they were on, or yesterday they were on sale for 11, 10 or 11, so I saved five bucks. But the Costco packs, you actually get five sausages. So in the regular store, when you buy the Adele's, you only get four sausages. You definitely save buying them at Costco because it costs less and you get more per pack. So definitely check those out. You can cook these as a dinner with veggies, put them on a bun like a like a hot dog. I like to actually cook them up for breakfast and do like a veggie stir fry and like mushrooms, garlic, onion, and then serve it with eggs and like Dave's Killer Bread toast. So good. Another thing we always have on hand, Costco hot dogs. Their beef hot dogs are so good. I'm sure you know. A lot of times people like to get a hot dog and soda for $1.50 in the food court. I always have these hot dogs on hand, such an easy snack or dinner for my son. Um, all beef, can't go wrong. Tried something new yesterday. They were sampling this Larissa's, uh, I was gonna say teriyaki, but Larissa's um, grass-fed organic beef um, jerky. No added MSG, no added nitrates, beef raised without growth hormones, gluten-free. Super tender, super light, has a lot of great flavor. So I grabbed that because it was on sale. Let's 
something I haven't tried before, but I want to try because I've been really into nut butters lately, is the Kirkland Mixed Nut Butter. It has almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Um, I love to do this like on Dave's Keller Bread, do like a piece of toast with nut butter, some banana, honey, extra chia seeds, so, so good. But even using this like for a peanut butter and jelly type sandwich or dipping like your celery in it, crackers, there's so much you can do with nut butter. You can bake with it. This was also new. I've never gotten one of these, but these were on sale. These are the Power Up High Energy Omega and Antioxidant Mix Nuts. So you get three different variety packs. And let's see, it's a little over two pounds total. And you get 24 individual bags. This I feel like is perfect for me to take to work and perfect for my boyfriend to take to work. It's like a nice, healthy snack to have on hand. We love having just healthy, easy snacks to take on the go. So I figured I'd pick these up. These were also on sale for 10 bucks, so you can't beat it. Lastly is these bark fins. We love the dark chocolate bark fins. My boyfriend is a huge fan of these. If you haven't seen them, that's what they look like. So good, they're perfect for late at night when you have that sweet craving, but you don't really wanna overindulge. You can have a couple pieces of this dark chocolate it curbs your craving, but you don't feel guilty because it's not super high in fat or super high in sugar and is pure dark chocolate instead of like processed milk chocolate. So if you're wanting something to have on hand to be able to, you know, nibble and just curb that sweet craving, definitely recommend these. They also do a pumpkin seed one around the holidays, which is really good, but the almond is our go-to. Alrighty, that concludes the video today. I was able to run through that a lot quicker than I thought. I hope you got some good ideas. I'm curious, are any of these things items that you usually buy? Let me know in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I post a new video every weekend. If you like these kind of videos and you're interested in me doing more Costco hauls or Trader Joe hauls, let me know in the comments. Thank you, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want, connect with me on my other platforms. I'll put my Instagram and my TikTok below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thanks guys. Take care. See you next time.